Hello and welcome. During this session, I'm going to model how to invite student users into the Course Sites LMS. Along the left hand side, there's a course management area visible to, to instructors. Choose Users and Groups. Next, choose Users. One way I can add uh, students is to invite them using the email function. Here, I can simply enter in a student's email address. I can separate multiple email addresses using a comma. Or I can upload email addresses from a CSV file. Now that's a, a, a special type of spreadsheet file that can be created using Excel or Google uh, Spreadsheets and so forth. Next, you can enter a subject line for the email. And then Course Sites has conveniently populated the, the body of the email already. Note that you can uh, delete information in here if you like. For instance, if I don't want to add this into the body of, uh, of my email, I can simply delete that. I do want to make sure I keep this particular link here. This is what students will click on in the email uh, to get registered. And when they receive that email and they click on that link, they will be prompted uh, to enroll. If they are already enrolled in another Course Sites course, then they can use that same login credentials and then both courses would be visible within the same login. If they are a new user to Course Sites, then the login process will walk them through accordingly. I would like to add one caveat to the email invitation process. I have noticed that if uh, emails are sent out and a student does not respond to it within a couple of days, that the invitation becomes uh, inactive or uh, outdated and a teacher would need to re-invite the student. I found it best to send out the email when students are in class with you uh, or at a specific time when students can expect the email so that they can uh, respond accordingly. Allow me to model a second approach which is quite convenient and downright foolproof. Again, we're going to use the Users and Groups Users button within the Course Management area. This time we're going to choose the Manage button and choose Enrollment Options. If I choose Self-Enroll, I can allow students to log in to the course and get enrolled uh, without having to specifically invite individual students. Very easy to just post a link for the course and have a whole classroom of students all log in at once um, with very little effort from the instructor. That being said, when you do self-enroll, it does make the course available uh, to the World Wide Web. And so if you'd like, you can limit World Wide Web access by just choosing an access code. Click this button and type in a brief password. You would share the password with your students uh, upon the login process. Choose Submit. We're brought back to the Users page. Choose Manage again. This time, choose Print Enrollment Request Instructions. Here, we're given a, a prompt that can easily be highlighted, copied, and pasted into an email and sent out to a population of students. Or, we can display this link right on the um, overhead in a classroom and have students type this in or use this link in like a shorter, shortener like Google Shortener to make this link a little easier for students to type in. So a variety of things you could do with this link. It's uh, All a student simply has to do is click on the link or type in the link and so forth and they would see a page similar to this. Here a student would simply just select self-enroll in the course. Here's where they enter that password and then they choose save and continue. Last but not least, let me highlight uh, two other quick ways you can enroll students. Let's imagine we have students twice in a day. They are already enrolled in my biology course and I want to enroll them in my environmental course. I could simply enroll an existing user and I can type in their name and search for them. It will show all the students that I have in all of my courses um, within a given day or, or whatnot. Another way, uh, I can just create individual users. So if I choose this method, I can actually create the students' um, login credentials and create a password for the student. And uh, I can have total control over that. 
use the students like Gmail credentials or their uh, PowerSchool password and so forth so that they never forget it. All right, there's a variety of ways you can invite uh, users into the course. Hopefully one of those works well for you. And until next time, have a great day.